Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Booth and welcome to Lost in the Americas. In this episode, we'll be meeting a new country and journeying to majestic mountains and gorgeous sceneries. Let's go! Entering Ecuador was difficult by itself. Not only because I was sad about leaving Peru, but that we had to do the COVID tests. Having a long stick stuck up your nose is far from pleasant. I wouldn't have been surprised if this testing stick came out of my ear. But it was over quick, and it's better to endure a few moments of pain and be safe than infect others. Luckily, we were all healthy, and after a lot of waiting, we finally passed the Ecuador. I was so, so excited. For the first time in such a long time, we were traveling in another country. We all couldn't wait to explore Ecuador, so we set off right away. Ecuador boasts some incredible national parks, and our first stop was at Enillas National Park, where we took a wild walk through the woods. Happily in Ecuador, they have many more walks for nature lovers. Oh, and I was glad to leave the heat of the coast behind and bundle up as we reached the Andes once again with the many more picturesque quaint towns such as Cuenca, a gorgeous city that hosts a stunning cathedral with a great view. It's super beautiful. Next, it was time to visit the wonders of the Andes, which in Ecuador means volcanoes. These chilly mountains are each majestic and beautiful in their own special ways. The Cotopaxi Volcano, which is located in the stunning national park with the same name, is a looming cloudy mountain. And the nature nearby is absolutely breathtaking. More lagoons and small mountain paths, which to my family is the best amusement park in the world. There's even a great interactive museum where you can learn a lot more about volcanoes. If you love nature and are in the area, remember to head over there for a quick walk. Bring a day pack and be prepared to do some walking. We also spent a freezing night in Chimborazo, a spectacular volcano that looks like it's sleeping under all the snow. We were incredibly excited when it started to snow. 4,800 meters above sea level. We are super high and look, it's snowing. Amelie and I ran around and enjoyed a lot. Oh, and did you know that Chimborazo is the closest point to space on planet Earth? What, you don't believe me? Mount Everest? K2? No, no, no. We are in Chimborazo, Ecuador, and that is definitely the closest point that you can get to space on the entire planet Earth. Spectacular. Well, let me try to explain. Let's take this grapefruit. It's not exactly a perfect sphere. It juts out a little in the center, kind of like Earth. Well, no offense, Earth, you're not that fat, but you do bulge out a little in the center. So let's take this grapefruit. We're gonna draw the equator. So here's Chimborazo, and it's right on the equator. And Everest, the highest mountain from sea level, is about here in the northern hemisphere, the Himalayas. So which one do you think is farthest from the center of the Earth and closest to space? Hmm, let's take a look. Hopefully this will work. Now, let's measure. Okay, so about 1.5 to the center of the Earth. And more than two to the center of the Earth. Chimborazo wins! And so that's how Chimborazo is farthest from the center of the Earth and the closest to space. Mmm, Earth, I didn't know you were that tasty. It's so cool, right? Chimborazo also has many tracks. And the views around are definitely worth a visit. I hope you're enjoying Ecuador so far. Wait, there's much more. Let's keep on going away to the north. On our way, we stopped at Quilotoa Crater Lake. The name says it all, it's a lake that's actually inside a crater. But <laughs> not any lake. Quilotoa had one of the most beautiful turquoise waters I had seen on the whole trip. So bright and powerful. 
we were really lucky to get a shining, beautiful day. So we set off on the trek that goes all the way around the crater. It was five hours with some parts with the deep precipices, but every time we saw the lake, I got amazed again. It was so stunning and viewing it from every angle is spectacular. I'm loving Ecuador and I hope you guys are loving it as well. Stick around for the next video because, surprise, we're going to the Amazon. Yes, it's going to be incredible. See you all next time for an incredible river. All sorts of creatures and creepy crawlies. And so much more. I can't wait to show you. Until next time.